and I am preparing to make birdhouses uh, for an upcoming art show, which I've never done before. Uh, and it was all crazy anyways. My boss is the one that uh, got me into this. Uh, just from me seeing pictures of me making a simple birdhouse for the family that I first started and uh, he's like, hey, you should you should make some of those. I want one. I want one. one. And that's how it started and now I have a, a trade show which uh, hopefully I make a little bit of money for Christmas. Anyways, I'm uh, making four of the tri trifecta house. The one that's got uh, a centerpiece uh, center hole for birds, uh, depending on what kind of bird. That's that's the thing too. Uh, it does depend on the size of the hole, so that's way the way I make it. Uh, you can either knock them out, knock the hole size out if you want a bigger hole, or the birds can actually do it themselves by just picking at it. Uh, what we don't want in there is squirrels and, and, and woodpeckers and stuff like that. And then uh, the two side by side ones, left and right, smaller ones. That's kind of set up uh, basically for um, finches. Uh, but hey, if you put out uh, bird feed, it's whatever bird wants to take that house. Anyways, here we go. I was trying to add music to this while I was recording and it doesn't seem like the, it's working very well. So let me try to find some music on the radio and then we'll move forward. I'm back. Found something new to it right uh, uh, right now while I was making my other cuts. I found out cutting those angle those angled uh, cuts right here before I cut it in half or uh, at an angle for the the pitch for the roof. I noticed you have more control of the wood versus just going through and, and, and cutting them individually. And I, I don't know, but it, it, it's common sense, I guess. Uh, but let me finish this and we'll move on to the next step. Good song by Van Halen. Everybody wants some. Okay, that one came out a lot better. It seemed to keen be cutting pretty uh, consistent. Anyway, I wanted to show you something on the holes later on. You'll see this one was just a test run, and you'll see an angle. I what I do is I cut the I believe it's a two and a half, and then it's a two inch hole, and then it's a one and a half. So what I do is I put I cut them uh, uh, together. I put the blades together all in one, and and and. and go into the depth that I wanted to be which is probably about I don't know quarter of an inch I would say uh, depth wise in and then pull it out and then you just use a screwdriver and you just pop the sides out real nice and slowly and it'll it'll pop out just like uh, the theory when you're cutting and you're making two joints you take the blade and you go up up you know a couple uh, slices uh, in between and you just take a hammer to it and that same concept so anyways uh, got some measuring to do for the next step, uh, but we're uh, we're making progress. See ya.